In this episode, we're going to be discussing the top tripods you can buy. Coming up. So, hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Tips and Strategy video series. And in this episode, we're going to be discussing the best quality tripods that you can buy for media, photography, and other forms of video production. Now, in this episode, I'm specifically talking about my two tripods that I have bought personally and have worked very well for me. Now, these tripods, as you can see right here, are Joby. And if you are a fan of Joby, then obviously you'll know a lot about Joby already. And if you're not, then I'm hoping to persuade you to buy Joby, obviously because um, of the qualities that they have. That they have. And... Um, just the general practicality of these tripods. Now, I'm not a sponsor for this video. This video is p purely off of my own back because I really like these tripods and I would like to show you guys these tripods that I have bought myself. Now, these two tripods specifically are the the two Jobies that I've got. So, the Joby Hybrid Gorilla Pod and the Joby Grip Tight Stand for smartphones. Now, the smartphone one is obviously the smaller one and the hybrid is the bigger one. Before we get into this video properly, if you guys are new around here, definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more trips and strategy videos just like this one. And let's get into the video. So, these two tripods work in harmony with each other. Now, this piece here is the, um, like the grip type stand for the smartphones. Now, this piece can obviously be extended and then back together again. Kind of standard, or aside from the fact that it's got the Joby markings on it and Joby branding. Now, this obviously can be done in two ways. Now, I have my phone right here, which I will be using here. Now, you can attach it very simply, like that, and you can use in selfie mode and attach to one of the tripods and carry it around like that if you're vlogging. And that's one reason that I particularly like these two tripods is for vlogging and taking time lapses and general photography out and about. They're yeah, very good for that. But also indoors, if you want to take pictures or if you want to... Um, film inside they're very good for like standing up on um household items so that you can you know very efficiently record around the home um so they are very good in all they're very good all-purpose tripods really um but joey they don't really call them tripods they call them gorilla pods because of their bendy kind of legs and everything because each one of these sections are bend and they are all very 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 flexible so they're very very good quality tripods now, for vlogging particularly, you can either record like that, or obviously you can turn it round, so I need to pop that out. Very simple to pop out if I wasn't do doing two things at once. And then you can pop it back in the other side round, and you can record like that. Now, once you've got it in place, you can either do it once you've got it in place, or after you've got it in place, and um, then you can attach it to the actual tripod itself and screw that in. Or you can do it before you pl plug in the phone to the actual tripod itself and you can just move the phone out of the way and then you can screw that into place now I'm not going to do that on camera because it does take about 15 seconds to do and uh, sometimes can be a little bit annoying I will be honest now, I'm going to be saying the ups and downs of Joby I'm not going to be a very biased person in regards to this despite how good these tripods are for me personally I will point out their faults and their you know pros and cons and all that but personally I think these tripods all the negatives far like are taken over by the positives of this. I mean, the fact that they're so bendy and so good for being around the home and getting out and about. This, you know, they're all purpose tripods or gorilla pods, and the fact that they are just so mobile and all work in harmony to each other um, is very good as well. Now, because um, obviously you can try to find your own personal tripod, and I will make a second video on that as to find the right tripod for you. Because um, obviously there aren't just Joby tripods, there's lots of other models which I haven't looked into very much currently. But there's obviously other models of tripods, many other models. There's stand-up ones like floor to ceiling ones and there's obviously loads of different types of tripods that lots of different photographers and video like media producers use. Um, but these are my ones personally for like vlogging and the household setups. Um, but I will make a second video on that and I will use the picture that I'll put up on screen now um, for that as well. But as you can see on screen now, you, that I've got, all, there's all these different ranges of tripods. Now, these two tripods in particular, um, 
are very good at working in harmony with each other and the other ones all work in harmony as well and that's what I really like about Joby is that these um, stands here once they're obviously screwed onto the tripods they can be either screwed onto the small ones or they can be screwed on to the bigger ones because uh, they've all got the same um, adapters and everything so it's not you know they're, they're very interchangeable as what you want to use them for so obviously this one I tend to use my actual camera itself that I'm recording with now and this one for my phone but if I really wanted to I could record my phone using the bigger tripod and um, I can screw this one onto here as well now this is a very very um, efficient way of having tripods because obviously you don't need to like take adapters around with you to do different jobs it's very good to do like that now this is very stable I can move it a little bit there if I wanted to but then I can just plug my phone into that little slot there and I can move around with the bigger one. Now this one is more for going out and about um, with because it's more robust and this one's more for household um, and handheld photography. Um, obviously this one's more, as I said, robust but also to be left around to do um, uh, time lapses with uh, like in the streets and um, out and about. Um, so yeah, so the the two models, as I already said earlier, are the um, Grip Tight Stand for smartphones and the uh, Joby Hybrid Gorillapod. Now the Hybrid I personally like more than the um, Grip Tight Stand because the Grip Tight Stand is more delicate and a little bit harder to use because it's a little bit more fiddly. But this one is very very robust, as I already said, and a lot of vloggers, like namely Casey Neistat, use this um, particular tripod. And uh, this particular tripod I like as well because you have a spirit level on it so you can see um, whether your uh, pictures are level. That's more for pictures than video because obviously video can be really creative along with pictures as well and photography. But it's also good to have that there. Um, but as well, both of these tripods do it but this one's a little bit more easy to do. You can slot out the actual piece in here. So let me just do it now. It's a little bit fiddly to do because you don't really do it that often. So you can... Man, it's been a long time since I've done this, so it's a little bit rusty. There we go. <clears throat> so, you have this piece that can just slot back in there, but if you have multiple of these, you can keep this connected to here, so you won't have to keep on un unscrewing each time. So you can have one for this, and one connected up to a camera, or anything like that. Um, so you can slot each one in, um, individually when you want them to be slotted into the actual tripod itself. The other really good thing about this tripod, in particular I'll go on to talk about the other one in a minute, is that you have this part here which loosens up the ball part at the top. You have a ball part there, which has a swivel. This bit loosens and tightens the ball part, this bit here that I'm holding on to. And you can adjust that around multiple different angles so that you can get the best shot that you want to have, um, either for video or photography. So moving on from that one now, because I've explained that one quite a bit. I'll move on to the grip plus stand for smartphones. Now this one, as I said, is a little bit more fiddly and annoying to do, but you also have the same principles with this one. So if you push onto this piece here, which I haven't used in a little while, so I will bear with. Um, so you can do the same thing where you pop, you know, you push pop the um, thingy out, the uh, piece at the top. So I'm going to try and do that now, although. As I said, this can prove a little bit difficult to do, especially when you haven't used it in quite a while, because I haven't. I've been putting off using this tripod for a little while, because I haven't really out, been out and about that much with my phone. Um, so I'll try this now. So it's a little bit difficult to do. Um, and yeah, I have failed to do that now, um, with the pushing and popping. But as you can see at the top here, you've got the kind of U-shaped piece that can pop out. Um, the same as on the uh, Gorilla Pod, um, but I have found that very difficult to pop out, so I'm not going to attempt that again now. So, yes, that is a little bit difficult to do, and um, I'm not going to attempt it now, but as I said, that is another con to the, these um, uh, to these tripods, is the fiddliness of it. But then it's not for everybody that you're going to be moving that around, so obviously, very good selling point that you can do that, but you don't have to do that. But um, yeah, so anyway, that that really it, there isn't many features to the um, smartphone one. Um, that, that literally is it. That you can be pushed out, and um, yeah, it's really it for specifics for the smartphone one. But the whole reason I really like Joby as opposed to anything else is that they do have a very good range, as you saw earlier, about eight of them, um, eight tripods that came up on screen. 
it are roughly the only company really that do gorilla pods in the same way as anybody else does i mean they they each each one of these individual um joints are ball points so they swivel around to any degree you really want them to so i currently have mine in the vlogging kind of position as it's known the bent handheld piece for vlogging around with but these can be all moved to any kind of position be wrapped around things and carried around in whatever way you want and that is a main key selling point for me for joby equipment Okay, so I think that's enough said on Joby at the moment. Obviously, I will have another video coming out next week on the basics of how to choose a tripod for you. Now, these two in particular I have reviewed because they're the only ones I actually have at the moment. Um, and I wasn't specifically going to get other ones in. And I will be honest with you about that. But, obviously, all the Jobies are quite similar. It's just deciding on which one is right for you, which obviously is about um, which what next week's uh, episode is about. Um, it's how to pick the right one for you, but not just Joby wise, it's whether you want a Gorilla Pod and if you want one, which Joby do you choose. If you don't want a Gorilla Pod, which other tripods do you pick? So that's it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Check out the links in the description down below. And make sure to come back next week for the next episode of the Tips and Strategy video series. For now though, my name's been Coolcat, and goodbye.